And President Trump says, and I'm just getting this in my ear literally, that Gary Cohen might come back to the White House. Gary Cohen, the pre President Trump says he likes him, likes Gary Cohen, and he might come back to the White House. Now, that's breaking as we speak. I think we're the first to get it on the air. Um, now, now, what That's is... That's what I mean. <laughs> you Trump see? revives The Apprentice. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> right. Two days ago, Gary Cohn, you're fired. Now, oh, come back. Yeah, you're going to be back. on the team again. Yes. It's uh, like a TV series. That is what President Trump does. He yeah. comes out with a strong opening gambit statement. It's a negotiating position, and he moves on from there. Yeah, well, as I say in the column uh, story, we've had a couple of incidents like this since January. One was uh, the immigration bill. Remember, all those people got together around a table at the House. Since then, virtually nothing has happened on immigration. And then after the Parkland massacre, we were going to do mm -hmm. something on gun control. Trump said he's going to stiff the National Rifle Association. And since then, there's been virtually no movement on that either. Both of those issues have floated off into the ether. I'm a little bit afraid the trade is going in that direction. These are complex, politically complicated issues, a lot of pieces in play. And I'm not sure that the White House has all of these pieces in place for announcing something as big as this tariff regime. Okay, just fascinating news that the president likes uh, Mr. Cohen and he may. That's good back. news. <laughs> What's yeah. the market doing? It is a good. Yeah. Uh, no it's reaction. up ten. That's okay. it. No reaction. No reaction. Well, I don't think this news is out that much. I think we're the first to report it. Quite yeah. frankly, I think we're as usual ahead of the game. Oh. All right, Dan Henninger, you're all right. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs>